Okay. All right. Well, I want to say welcome to everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, today we have Adam Ron from uh, Droy Media, who is here to present on an app called Viva Video. And if you haven't downloaded the app yet, I've put the links in the chat um, so that you can you can download it if you'd like. Um, you're free to follow along, uh, and you're free to uh, try the try things out and push buttons um, as we're talking about stuff and going over things. Or you're free to just to go ahead and sit back and watch, um, and then ask questions as needed. Uh, when you ask your questions, you can put them in the chat if you'd like, um, and then I will respond and I'll verbally uh, ask them of Adam. So if you need us to um, need Adam to repeat something or demo it again, uh, just let me know. Um, at the end, we will have a little bit of time where we can hopefully, if you're uncomfortable with chat, we can unmute you and then you can ask your question verbally too. Um, and let me go over a little bit about Zoom. Um, I'm also going to introduce myself because I realized I forgot to do that already. Um, my name is Susan and I am our technology librarian here at the Champaign Public Library. So I want to say thank you all for coming. Uh, if you are new to Zoom, down in the bottom left hand corner, you have the ability to control your volume and your mic. Um, in the middle, you have a raise hand button. Uh, that you can use if you have any technical difficulties. Um, if you raise your hand, I can I can help address those for you. Um, and if you'd like at the end to ask questions, um, we'll talk again about being able to raise your hand so that I can unmute you so that you can speak your question out loud. Um, but until then, you should also see a little comment bubble down there. That's our chat window. So if you'd like to, you can go ahead and chat your questions as well. And you'll notice there's two different settings. There's one for panelists and then panelists and all attendees. Um, so even if you send the chat directly to the panelists, which myself and Adam, um, we will also uh, be able to relay that out loud so that everyone will hear it too. Okay. All right. Um, I do want to mention that the library is open our regular hours right now. Um, and we do have the ability to do one on one appointments over Zoom if you're interested with our Book a Librarian program. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that um, afterwards. So if we're all set and ready, I will go ahead and turn everything over to Adam. All right. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Adam. I'm going to be uh, in front of you for the next uh, like 45 minutes, 50 minutes, maybe an hour. Um, uh, thank you all for uh, for joining us. Um, Susan, thank you for uh, the introduction and for having me back to do this. This is, um, I don't know, two, three, I don't know. Yes. I've done a couple of these. Um, and um, my a little bit of background about me for those of you uh, I might have seen all of you in one of my classes before but I can't see faces right now so um, if you've heard this just put me on mute for like a minute and a half um, but my day job is running my video production company called Droid Media uh, I run it out of this very messy office that you see behind me um, I also ride my bike in here uh, but um, prior to that, um, and in addition to that, uh, a lot of times I teach on the side. So I've taught uh, at several colleges and universities around the Midwest. Um, I get hired to do uh, training sessions uh, on a variety of topics ranging from um, how to shoot and edit photos on your cell phone um, or videos on your cell phone even um, to advanced motion graphics and other things like that. So um, my background in education and everything is um, very heavily steeped in video production and marketing and social media. Uh, I am very much a very nerdy person. Um, I love cameras and gear and stuff like that. It's, I'm surrounded by it right now. You can't see any of it. Uh, well, you can see some of it. There's a fun light in the background. Um, but uh, this program that we're going to go over today is called Viva Video. It is one of um, a, a lot of video editing programs that I have used. Um, several years ago, uh, my wife and I were asked to create an introductory course for college students um, to get them up and running uh, and teach them how to shoot video and take photos and edit audio um, and do it all from a cell phone. Um, that was like the, the main part of the course. Um, and we, we tested out a ton of apps and Viva Video was the one that we chose. They have since only gotten better. So uh, the app that you see today or that you will see today um, is leaps and bounds um, above what I started with. And it's uh, a very powerful app. It's not perfect, um, but uh, you know, even the really fancy expensive apps that I use on my, my computer are not perfect either. They frustrate me. Um, and, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the quirks. Uh, I am going to do a little presentation 
Um, and I guess before I hop into that, or as I hop into it, I have the tendency to talk really fast. This is actually a very, very slow speed for me. So if I happen to be going too fast, please uh, either say something in the chat or raise your hand. Um, Susan will let me know as well. I've got the chat box open, but in case I miss it, um, I'm just wired a little quicker than, uh, than I probably should be. Uh, so I'm going to pop open this presentation. I'm gonna share this real quick. Uh, so we are uh, gonna be introduced to Viva Video today. Uh, and this is also just a little bit of a, we'll call it a stalling time uh, for those of you who have not downloaded this yet. Uh, you have like four and a half minutes, five minutes to do it right now. Um, and, uh, and honestly, I can't see you, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm hoping that you're downloading it. Um, so one of the things that uh, Viva Video is going to do, it's a video editing program. Now, our cell phones have the ability to uh, take photos and videos already built into them. Every, every one of our cell phones has that. Um, this program, what it's going to do is it's going to allow us to take all of those things and turn them into cohesive, like actual professional videos. Um, so uh, I'm not going to get into how to take better videos or shoot better photos or anything like that. Um, we're only really going to be talking about editing tonight. Uh, and one of the big things that I run into is that there's a lot of lingo, a lot of terminology that I use in my everyday industry um, that most normal people don't come across, or if they have come across these words uh, or terms, they've been used in different manners. So, you know, here are some of them, and we're going to go through, through these right now. I haven't, I haven't had a bunch of text on the screen. Um, so if you want to take notes, great. Uh, Susan's also got this recording, so um, you might have access to it after the fact as well. Uh, two of the main things that we're going to talk about, you're probably going to hear me say the word timeline and or sequence 50 or 60 times tonight. Uh, and that's because these are the main things that we are going to be using to create our videos in Viva Video. And in fact, in any editing program that you use, you're going to create videos on your timeline. Uh, and most of the time when we're creating videos, we're creating sequences down on a timeline. So the sequence is your actual video. Um, it is a sequence of clips or footage or audio or whatever you're putting together to make your video. It's a sequence of those things. That's where it gets its name. The timeline is just the kind of the physical space that's on your computer screen or on your phone screen, uh, where you're going to assemble all of your clips. So um, Viva Video has a timeline. The timeline is always in the same spot for all the, for all the video editors, essentially. And it is just a visual representation of the beginning of your video and the end of your video. So at the beginning of your video on your timeline, your sequence is gonna show up and you're gonna have clips in there. At the end of your video, that's where that video will end. You won't have anything else after that out there on your timeline. Uh, the way that you start to edit video um, is you're going to import your footage. Uh, and what that means is we're going to take it from wherever it is and we're going to bring it into that program. So uh, if I'm using Adobe Premiere on my computer, I have to import all of the footage that I need for that project into Adobe Premiere. Uh, we're going to be uh, hopping onto our cell phones here momentarily, or at least I am, uh, and we're going to import some footage that I have already on my phone, uh, but we're going to bring it into uh, Viva Video and we're going to be able to edit it at that point. Um, exporting is kind of like the exact opposite of it. So once we have created a video or created a sequence that we're happy with, we're going to export that. And what that means uh, is the program that we're using is going to kind of like make a nice, neat little wrapped up video package and it's going to send it out somewhere. Uh, whether we're going to tell it to send it to our phone, we're going to tell it to upload to YouTube, we're going to email it or text it to a friend. Uh, you can do whatever you want. But exporting is the final finished piece. We're gonna export the video so someone else can see it and they don't have to have Adobe Premiere Pro or Viva Video in this case. Uh, rendering is something that uh, we're not gonna have to deal with, but you're probably gonna hear me talk about it uh, quite a bit. And this is, um, as you're playing through footage, uh, rendering is the computer processing all of this information so it can play it back in real time for you. So. Um, if you have ever been watching, let's say, a YouTube video, 
and it starts to buffer, you get the little circly screen in the middle of the little circly icon. Um, it has essentially not rendered all of the footage that it needs to, so it's going to slow down, it's going to render it out, so then when it does play for you, it plays back really smooth. If your footage is kind of jittery or um, stuttery or, or, or kind of anything that like that, um, it probably just hasn't rendered. And we, uh, Viva Video is kind of built in and kind of renders itself um, as we edit, but it's a really prominent term uh, in terms of video editing. And then um, we are, oh, uh, shots, takes, and clips. Um, these are kind of interchangeable in, in my terminology or in my vocabulary rather. So uh, when I'm talking about a shot or a take or a clip, if you hear me say those words tonight, um, that just means probably that video clip that we're talking about. So um, I might use all of these. I might use only one of them. It kind of just depends on uh, how I'm feeling that day, I guess. Uh, but th those all three mean the exact same thing. Um, and they are just individual clips, whether that is um, like a, a video clip, an individual shot, like a photo, um, or an individual um, like audio clip or something like that. And the reason we call them takes, sometimes I'll call them takes, is that when I'm out recording, um, each take is kind of like the, you know, when you have the like clapperboard in films and it's like, you know, take one, take two, and they clap it. That's what those are. So um, each one of those ends up being its own individual clip when we bring it into our, uh, when our, into our program. Uh, so you might hear me reference those as takes. Um, and I just do that because that is what I do when I'm out actually filming and I call them those. Um, and that kind of bleeds into my editing, editing lingo as well. And then we're going to talk about effects and transitions, uh, uh, cuts and trims and things like that. So effects are kind of like filters if you've ever used Instagram or anything. Uh, it's just an effect that you can put on your clip and it can make it blurry, it can make it brighter, it can make it darker. There are like essentially no in um, in what effects or tra or um, filters you can use for your clips. There's tons of them. Um, there's lots of them built into Viva Video that we're going to get into. And then transitions are the transitions between two clips. So back on our timeline, when we have two clips and they're butted up against each other, there is nothing in between them. So they will just go right from one into the other. And we'll, we'll see this um, you know, actually happening here momentarily. Um, transitions are going to be, do we want that to fade? Do we want it to kind of like zoom in? Um, there's a lot of those and we'll get into those. Yeah, and they'll make a lot more sense. But transitions are between clips. Uh, effects or filters are just on single individual clips. Uh, then we're going to talk about waveforms and voiceovers. Viva Video will allow us to do voiceovers, uh, which is really, um, really fancy. It just uh, is a, a new um, add-on for, I think, maybe the newer update. Uh, waveform is the like little squiggly audios that you'll see in there and we'll talk about those. I think we'll be able to see those here um, when we hop on our phone here in a second. Um, so before we begin, we want to capture our footage that's taking photos, editing, or capturing video, whatever we're going to do. You want to get all of those things that you need and we want to import them into our project. That's step one of any video editing project, whether you're doing it at a, a level like me or we're just starting out. Um, and we're gonna do that here momentarily in Viva Video. And then we want to assemble um, those clips on our timeline in sequences. Um, and those are just gonna be putting them in the order that we want so that when we play through our video in our timeline, it plays the first clip all the way through to the last clip. Um, and we're gonna edit those, we're gonna trim them down, make sure the clips are a certain lengths or whatever. Um, and then we can add effects, we can render them, we can add transitions at this point too. And then we're going to export them. So once we've got our video looking great, we know we wanna share it with someone and we know it's finished, we're gonna export it, send it off via email, upload it to YouTube, um, export it to our phone uh, and send it off to someone that way. Uh, but this is in a nutshell, the editing process that I go through every single day when I'm editing a project. And um, a couple of things that Viva Video is, it's a free video editing software. Um, it allows us to create professional quality videos on our mobile phones and it's free, which is amazing. You will notice that there is a paid uh, update for it. Um, you don't need to do that. I would recommend that you don't, honestly. Um, I have not done it and I can't imagine that it's going to give you anything um, extraordinary for whatever the cost is. Um, Viva Video is easy to use. It's got a really intuitive interface that we're gonna get to uh, in just a sec, I promise. Uh, and it's a great starting point. Um, so if you've never edited video before, Viva Video is a really, really good way to get your feet wet um, and, and try it out. 
Um, Viva Video is not the only option. Like I said, there are a ton of options out there. So if, as we get through this, you just, it's, you're just not jiving with it or whatever, um, that's fine. You know, there are a lot of other options out there, but the skill set that you're going to learn tonight, you can take that and use it in another program because essentially every program I've ever used is the exact same. Some of them have better strengths and more weaknesses, um, which is why, you know, I choose to use the ones that I do. Um, and it's not the best. Again, as I mentioned really early on, the ones that I use are not the best. They're just the ones that I like the most. Um, so as we get into this, you might notice some shortcomings. You might notice some quirks. That's okay. Um, you know, they're there. Um, and there's really not a lot we can do about them other than work around them. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to exit out of this screen share. We're going to get back to seeing my beautiful face. Thank you all very much. And uh, I'm going to switch over to a, uh, I'm going to attempt to um, switch over to and I'm, I'm also oh. following along. <laughs> oh, great. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so can we, can you guys, can everyone see my phone here? Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and spotlight your video here too. Oh, sure. So just a second. Yeah. And we'll spotlight your video. Okay. Hey, there we go. Okay. Oh, it's, um, it's Let weird. Me Give me one second. To speaker view. And then, okay. We've got spotlight. I think we should be speaker view. Okay. Great. Let's see there. There we go. Okay. Um, now it should be full screen for everyone to see um, Adam presenting and his phone. If not, let me know. Okay. So uh, we are going to go in here. This should, can everyone see my border collar here? I hope that's okay. It's my background. Um, and you're going to see my password. Great. No one get into my phone. <laughs> Um, so, uh, when you open Viva Video, uh, you know, for me, it's down here in my apps. It's this little one down here. Um, is this showing up backwards for everyone else? Or is it, uh, nope, I think we're seeing it. Yep. We're seeing it right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's showing up backwards for me. So, um, it's okay. So when you click on it, this should be the main screen that you see when you hop into it. So, um, there's a bunch of things here. It's kind of busy. Uh, in recent years, they've really started to add in a bunch of stuff for uh, like TikTok and, and Instagram and things like that. Uh, but I'm going to kind of walk you through what this is. So up here in the oh, up here in the upper right, you're going to have that free trial. It's just telling us that hey, we've got the free version. If you see anything with this little bitty gold crown, uh, that is a paid feature. So as we go through things, you might see those on there. Um, you can't use those without paying, which is again not something that we need to do. Uh, but just something to be aware of. Uh, here, underneath that, under my drafts, you're going to have any videos that you have worked on. Uh, I'm going to click on that. I don't think I've got any because I just deleted a bunch. Again, you can see um, it wants us to, to pay there. Um, and then if any point in time we get lost, you can just hit this little create button down here in the middle. It's a little, it says create with some pair of scissors above it. And that's going to get us back to this main page. Uh, and then under this is slideshow. And this is one that um, is really nice. You can just select, um, this is just a bunch of selfies of me with uh, my wife, uh, nothing exciting. Some berry bushes that I was trying to identify while I was hiking this weekend. Uh, did I mention that I was really nerdy? I hope so. Uh, but what you can do in that is, um, and again, ads will pop up. What you can do in the slideshow mode is you can click on the slideshow mode go in and select photos that you have. And what it will do is it'll auto populate kind of a slideshow for you. So if you wanted to do one for, uh, let's say like a graduation um, or, um, you know, like an end of life ceremony event or something like that, um, that would be a really, really easy way for you to be able to do that, you know, birthday party to lighten the mood a bit, I guess. Um, but that's gonna be what that one does. And those ones are, and that one's really easy to use. You just go and click it, ready to go. Um, and we've got video saver. So this one is really fun. Um, they don't have the, um, they don't have a ton of uses on it right now, but if you click video saver, what it's going to do is it's going to say, Hey, where do you want me to save this video from? And you should note, um, or I should note that, um, borrowing or taking someone else's videos and editing with them is, uh, kind of a legal no, no. So please don't do that without asking for someone's permission. However, if let's say you've uploaded a video to Instagram and you want to download it because you just don't have it on your phone anymore, it's an older video, you could go there, it'll load your Instagram. Uh, I'm not gonna log in right now, uh, but it'll let you find it 
and then it'll let you download that from Instagram. Same with uh, Facebook, uh, if you have a WhatsApp or anything like that. Um, you know, it'd be really nice if it had maybe a YouTube function, but that's the video saver in terms of what that one is. Uh, if you wanna add text, we can do that there once we start getting into this. Uh, the mixer is going to just let us hit, select a bunch of clips and kind of mix them together. It's kind of a basic uh, version of the editor. I'm not really sure why they call it mixer, honestly. Mm -hmm. And then um, let's just uh, get those notifications out of there. Sorry about that. And then you'll see um, here under recommended and pro editor, those have a little bitty icon in the bottom right hand corners of them. Those ones are part of the premium version. So uh, you don't want to mess with those really. Um, converter, if we click on that, that's going to convert any of our photos or any of our videos into one of them that we want. So um, as you're seeing, one of the downsides to a free program is the ads. Uh, if those really, really bother you, uh, go ahead and go ahead and get the premium. I know I told you not to, but um, but what that's going to do is it's going to take a video that we've done and it's going to turn it into a different video format. So if you have ever run into a problem where one of your videos is just not playing or not doing what it needs to, um, you can convert your video there. Capture is just going to open up your uh, photo or uh, video, um, uh, you know, capturing app, so your camera. Uh, I haven't done this yet before, but you just click allow and allow. And what that does is it's just going to give it options to collect. And I'm just up against the desk here. Um, so you can see um, it's just going to allow us to um, to capture video um, directly there in the app. And uh, and then under FAQ, uh, this just has a bunch of frequently asked questions on the website. So you can actually click these um, and it'll show you how to do it. So, um, you know, you can see here on the right hand side, there's all these, uh, I believe you, we're calling them carrots, Susan, right? Um, you see the little carrots there, you can click on those. Yeah, that's my term at least. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's now the professional video editor's term. So, um, but you can scroll through. This is a really, really helpful site um, or uh, portion of the app. Once we get done tonight, if you're just like, oh, I forgot how to do this, um, you can click on here uh, and it'll kind of walk you through a lot of the things that we're gonna talk about tonight and how to do it. And the nice thing is it's got, you know, short little videos um, and it shows you screenshots and everything. So um, a really handy part of the app. Um, and then uh, again, Video Saver, we do that. If you wanna see all the effects that you could do, um, you can click on these. I'm not going to click on those because it ends up like skewing my analytics kind of weird and then it promotes them a lot to me. Um, but what you can do if you click see all, uh, it's just gonna give you a bunch of like text themes and effects and filters and stickers and transitions and stuff. So uh, there's a lot of, um, basic ones that you get included in the free version. There's also a lot of ones that it just wants you to pay for. Um, it's a free app that's clearly uh, what they want you to do. But um, that's kind of the main interface. And then um, up here, we've got edit. This is gonna be the one that we're gonna click on here in just a second. I'm not gonna do that right yet. Um, and then all of your stuff can be found here under me. So if you click on the me in the bottom right hand corner, uh, you could log in if you want, um, if you've got videos, if you've got drafts. Uh, Drafts are going to be ones that you have not exported. So as we mentioned earlier, exporting is taking them and letting someone else see them, you know, off of your phone or whatever. Um, that's where these are going to be. They're going to be videos we have not exported yet. Videos are going to be the ones where we have exported them. So let's say that you exported it, but you forgot where you sent it or you can't find it. All you have to do is open this app back up, go over to me, and then find either the drafts or the videos. Um, if you can't find it in the videos for some reason, all you have to do is go back to the drafts, open it, and then at that point in time, you can export it again pretty quickly. Uh, and then again, as we were kind of going through this, we can click that create to get us back to the kind of home screen here. Uh, and the last little thing I wanna talk about is the bottom left, it's template. Uh, and this is just, again, a bunch of like, TikTok-y, flashy effects that you could use for um, things uh, predominantly on social media, I would say. Uh, I'm not going to use any of these things that are, are really, really uh, fancy or, or fun or flashy um, in my uh, in my editing. Um, but uh, if you like them, you can browse them. You can click them by uh, theme. There's a lot of different things here that you can uh, that you can click on. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to jump in and start editing, actually. Finally, after talking for a half hour, Adam is getting to the editing. So we want to click on the edit here. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up the kind of uh, the import uh, window that it has. And you can see right now, I can scroll here and find videos. So um, I've got some videos here. Um, you know, this is all pretty boring. Um, there's some videos of some sheep jumping around, a drone video from a farm. Um, I did watch a car catch on fire recently, so that's there. And then some hiking videos with my dog, my dog eating some ice cream, some beach videos, things like that. Um, and then some behind the scenes videos of a shoot I was on uh, recently as well. But that's where you can see all these. So you can scroll down, find all your videos. If it's saved on your phone, it's gonna be there. Up here at the top though, let's say you're like, oh, I'm not seeing any of my uh, photos. Um, it's just we're not in the photo section. So you can see here, um, this is gonna be our photo section with uh, all the other stuff. And then up in the upper right, if we click that, uh, what it's gonna do is it's going to allow you to search in different parts of your phone. So um, if you've got like screenshots or stuff that you've downloaded from Instagram, um, camera album, um, things that you've downloaded, uh, that's where this is going to allow you to open that up at. It's up in the upper right hand corner. It's kind of grayed out, it's harder to see to me. Um, but so what we can do is I'm going to select a couple of things to bring them into our project. I'm going to import them into our timeline. So I've got this uh, drone video. I'm going to click on it. Uh, and what you want to do is you just want to click on it. It's going to say, you're going to see that, hey, this is the first clip that I've got. Uh, and then I want this clip down here, let's say of my border collie. And then I'm going to go over here to photo. And I'm going to take another shot. Maybe this, oh, we're gonna add that, it's gonna click on it. And you can see as I'm adding this, um, you wanna say, that, oh, so we notice that's the third one. It's the third asset that I'm bringing in. Um, I'm gonna bring another shot of that berry and then uh, I'll just do a really cute one of me and my wife. Um, I make her take selfies with me. So you can see down here that it's kind of creating these things in an order for us. Now, one of the things that um, I think is important to, to consider is as you are, you know, adding these things to your project, and we can add more later on, but as you're adding these things, try and think of what order you want them to be in, because it's going to make your life a little bit easier once we officially add them. But you can see I've got um, five things here. That's my fifth clip, and all of them are showing up down here at the bottom. So you can see I've got the first clip I selected, the second clip, third, or then the three photos that I've got. And a couple of other things that I want to talk about on this screen or these two screens, these screens in particular, is under the video section in the very bottom left of every single video square, you're going to see a little bitty timestamp and they're kind of hard to see depending on it. So this one, it says 0 0.05. That means it is five seconds long. This one is 0 0.10. That is 10 seconds long. The first number before the colon is going to be minutes. So a number after it is going to be second. So you can see here, I took an 11 minute and 46 second, this little shot down here, 11 minute and 46 second shot of this car burning. It was burning outside of a hotel room I was at recently. Um, if I were to click on that, it would import that whole photo or that whole video into my sequence. It's a really, really long video and I don't want to have to cut it down. Um, and you can see those down here. Those correspond to the little numbers down here. I'm sure that's kind of hard to see because they're even smaller than normal. Um, as you kind of look through here, if I go, oh, you know what? I don't want that shot of that berry. You can just click the little red X and get rid of it. And now I only have those four shots. Um, I don't have the fifth shot, so it's deleted those for me. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Um, if you're following along, just go ahead and select a couple of things that you want. It doesn't have to be uh, what we want in our final video, just something to play along with right now. Hey, Adam, we do have a quick question. Oh, yes. Um, when downloading the app through the, um, the I, looks like the, um, the iOS app store. Yes. Um, if we're downloading it for free, um, it is asking to authorize payment. So it is showing try it for free, but it asks for pay to authorize the payment. Mm. I'm pretty sure with, um, with the apps, it's, it's not actually going to charge if it's free and it doesn't tell you how much it costs or anything. Usually with um, the app store, it'll tell you how much it's gonna cost when you install it before yes. you actually install it. Um, but I yeah. wanted to double check with you to make sure that's true. Yeah, I'm almost positive. So I think one of the things that um, drives me nuts about Viva Video 
is um, what it what it wants to do is it wants you to have that on file so that if you were to accidentally click on an effect or uh, a filter or something that costs that they could charge you. Um, I believe that it will prompt you either way um, as you're kind of getting into it. Um, but it sh you should not have to pay for anything. Um, it's my understanding that it will prompt you before it charges you for that. Um, and it might just be um, the way you have the um, iOS store set up. Uh, so it might just require off payment authorization early on, but it, then it won't, it won't actually charge you until you allow it to do so after the fact. I hope that, yes. hopefully that answers the question. I know that's not a, um, a, a fuzzy, a warm, fuzzy feeling in your stomach sort of a thing to have to deal with. Thank um, you. Yes, no problem. <laughs> Um, so hopefully that answers uh, those questions. And again, please ask um, as we're going through this. And again, I know I talk a lot and, uh, and I talk quick. I'm trying to go um, as, as quickly and as uh, slowly as I can, surprisingly. Uh, so once we have our videos imported, um, this is the screen that you're going to see. And there are a couple of things. I'm going to go through this real quick. If you just click X, that's going to X us out of this, um, out of this program, out of this sequence. Um, if you want to undo something, there's a little undo button, which is the one that curls back to the left. The button that curls up to the right, that's one if you, let's say you got rid of an effect, but you go, oh, uh, you know what? I really do want that. You could click that one. It's not, they're on, they're hun highlighted for me. I can't click them because I haven't done anything or added any effects or anything. If you get stuck on anything, you have a question, um, guess what? There's a little bitty, uh, question mark up here. So you can click on that. That's essentially, I believe that one takes us back to that FAQ screen. It might also give you like some pop-ups around to kind of walk you through how to do this. Uh, and then up here, you can see that we're in a draft mode. If we want to save our video right away, we could click to save. We're not to that point yet. Um, and then the main kind of feature here is the video itself. And that is going to be front and center on our screen. So anything that happens here in this little box, so you can see where there's like kind of an aerial shot of this farm, that's gonna be the video, that's gonna be the one that we wanna really pay attention to because that's what our finished video is gonna look like after we're all done. Moving on down a little bit, there's a little play head down here, a little play button. So if you see it, um, this little play button, if you click it, it's just going to play through your clips. It turns into a pause button as soon as you hit play. So we're gonna pause that. Um, you could fast forward or go to the end or to the next clip, I mean, with these buttons here, or there's one over here. They're, these ones are really tiny um, and is a, like an average sized male, human male. Um, I find these ones really, really hard to hit, but you can kind of see them. Hopefully you can see those little bitty dots essentially down there. Um, and then this is our timeline. This little thing down here, it's got a little line right here. And uh, the clip that we're over is kind of highlighted in white. Um, so as we play through this, you're going to see this is moving. Now this little line stays the same, but it is indicating what's being shown up here. So it's, as it's moving through this clip, this clip is, you know, we are 11 seconds in, 12 seconds in, 13 seconds in, 14 seconds in. Um, that's what this is doing. This timeline is showing us where it is. Um, under here, we have all of our effects. So um, if you want your canvas to be a different style. So right now I am in a horizontal style. Uh, if I click on canvas, I can switch this to um, tall. I can switch it to kind of a square one. I can switch it to like an Instagram one, a one by one, like a square one. Um, we want it to be, at least for the purposes of this, this 16 by nine that I've got. Um, or if you want it to be like this really wide cinema one, you can do that. Um, anytime you make a change or do anything, um, what you want to do is just click OK. Um, you can also rotate in Zoom here. So if you wanted to rotate your video a little differently, let's say you shot something vertically uh, and wanted to fit it in this kind of sideways one, you could rotate it. Uh, and then once we're done, we want to click the little orange um, box uh, check mark down here. Um, and then so we've got Canvas, we've got Trim. Uh, and what this one is going to do is it's going to pop open whatever clip that we were just in front of. Uh, it's going to pop that open in it's kind of its own little window and it's going to let us trim this clip down to the intended duration that we want it to be. So as we noticed earlier, this clip is two minutes. I, I keep doing this from a different angle. Two minutes and nine seconds long. Um, you can see it down here. Well, maybe I'll use my other hand. 
So that's a long clip for us to have to do. So what we really want to do is we want to play through this until we find maybe um, a part of the clip that we want to use and we can pause it. Um, let's see here. Let's, and then as we drag this little playhead off to the, the left, that's going to determine what the start of our clip is going to be. So I don't want this whole two minute clip in my, in my video. I just want a little bit. So as you kind of scroll over, uh, I kind of like maybe this part where it goes over the cars. I'm going to press play. We're going to let it kind of fly over this farm. Um, and again, just kind of use whatever you'd like or kind of get the gist of what's going on here. And then we're going to say, okay, that's probably okay. I don't need much more than that. But I still got the rest of this whole clip here that is in my shot. So what we want to do is take the um, the little play part over here on the right hand side and we want to drag that over to where our ending is. Mm -hmm. And as you're dragging it, you're going to notice that this the screen up here is changing. This is going to show you the last screen that you've got. So if you go, okay, I know I want it to end there. Let's see before as it goes up, I want it to end there. So we've got that. We're going to click that little um, check mark again. And now as we play through, we don't have a two minute shot. We've got just that little clip that we selected out of that two minute video. So we've got it there. As it goes up to the sky, we should see a transition to our next clip, which is this clip of uh, my border collie looking down a stream. And then she's walking around. Uh, there's a shot of a berry. And then, hey, a selfie of me. All pretty standard stuff. If uh, quick question. Yes. yes. If we decide we want to get some of that um, that trim back, is there a way to do that after Abs you've hit the check mark button? Absolutely. So um, great, great question, Susan. So all you have to do is make sure that the uh, timeline indicator, that tall vertical line that's in the middle, make sure it's over whatever clip you want to edit. And then all we have to do is go back to trim. And you can see here, We've got access to this whole clip still. Nothing, nothing has been edited, nothing has been deleted. It is exactly how it was when we brought it into the project. Uh, it's just, um, you know, we've just trimmed it down for the purposes of our main video. Perfect, thank so, you. Yep, so we're gonna go over a little bit. Um, if you wanted to maybe split a clip up, you could use the little cut here in the middle. Um, I am not sure exactly what we would want to do that for, um, but that's something that you might want to uh, try and do. Uh, if you wanted to delete a clip, so let's say we get here and I just go, oh, you know what, um, I don't want this shot of, I don't want this selfie of me, you could just hit delete, and it's just going to delete that one. Um, you could zoom in, you can rotate each of these individually. So you can notice that this one is vertical. I want this to rotate, so I'm just going to rotate it so it fits that whole screen. Um, and you can rotate it again as much as you would like. Uh, but that's what these um, are here. Um, transitions are going to be those transitions, as I mentioned, between clips. So I'm going to play. You're going to see it's going to go from the drone shot to this shot. There's nothing fancy in between it at all. Um, and just to kind of uh, get these a little thinner, a little smaller, I'm going to trim these down even more. That way we're not watching a, um, actually there we go. Nope. Nope. I don't want to do that. Nope. Definitely don't want to do that. Hey, there we go. I'm going to trim this one. I'm going to make this a little shorter. That way we're just watching a, a few seconds of video. So as we kind of go through these, um, again, there's no fancy transition whatsoever. Um, here, if we scroll through, we're going to see uh, you got speed, we've got um, volume. So if you want to mute a clip, um, we can adjust the volume of them. But transitions are, if we click those, it's going to show us a ton of these down here. So um, it's got whip pans, we've got zooms, we've got pull-ins. Uh, and what we can do is we can just kind of click one and apply it, and it's going to show us up here that transition. So Instead of a, just a plane going from one clip into another, uh, we've got this fun little whip pan. We've got this fun zoom one. Um, you know, you've got all of these. You've got like spin left. Um, you might notice that there's a little bitty arrow in the upper left of one of these. 
if you have not downloaded it yet or never used it. So if you click on it, it's gonna download it for you and let you use it. Um, and then here on some of these, these are the ones that I was telling you about earlier. They have kind of a little gold um, section up here. So um, these are gonna be ones that are gonna cost you a little bit, but you could do, let's say like a fun little page turn if you've got kind of a book slideshow or something like that. Um, so, and there are, I mean, like tons of these things. You can see I'm scrolling through here pretty good. Um, lots and lots and lots of transitions to go um, through. I'm gonna mention really quickly that for us, we had to be connected to the internet, um, or at least by we, I mean me, um, oh, to, yes. to get many of those transitions. Um, you have a couple if you're not connected to Wi-Fi or data, um, but if you want the vast majority of them, um, you do wanna make sure you're connected to uh, Wi-Fi or data. Sure, great, thank you so much. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention that I am um, connected to my own Wi-Fi, so. Um, yeah, you would want to be, you would want to have some sort of internet access or, or signal um, to be able to download those. Um, so I've got just these three clips here. Um, if I wanted to add more, um, all you have to do, you can add more to the end. You can click that there and you could add some text. Uh, I'm going to undo that. Um, but what we want to do, we can click the little plus arrow and that's going to give us the ability to add some more stuff in. Obviously, I like my dog a lot, so we're just going to add another dog shot in here. Um, and we're going to trim this one down a little bit just for eating ice cream. Um, and so that's good. Uh, all good there. Um, and I should note that wherever your timeline indicator is, if you click on that plus, that's where it's going to insert that clip at. So you can see um, this shot had originally been next to this berry shot. And now that shot of my dog eating ice cream is in the middle of them because of that. Um, some of the other things here, um, you can adjust uh, like the brightness and contrast, that's what this adjust is. Um, so you can add filters, um, you know, you can go through, these are just kind of like Instagram style filters that you could do. Um, there's a bunch of these uh, that are there. I'm just going to click OK. And, nope, get out of there. Um, where? And where is that? At? Let's get out of there. Let's just undo these. Filter. Hey, there we go. Clip and edit. Um, and again, that uh, that one in the middle is going to be where you want to go to get back to that main screen, uh, which I take my own advice every once in a while instead of clicking around. Um, so you can reverse the shot. So let's say you want. Uh, one of these shots to go in reverse. You can click that. It's going to reverse it for you. It might take a second. So now it looks like my dog is spitting up ice cream rather than drinking it, <laughs> um, which is not very, not very fun. Um, and then we can add text and effects down here. So we can add text and effects. There's text here. If we click on that, it's going to allow us to uh, add text. Uh, where do I, there we go. Let's get back to that keyboard. So we can add text uh, there. We're going to click OK. So you can see that that text is added. You'll notice that these little bars here look really similar to the trim clip ones that we had. So we can extend this as far as we would need to. Um, so we can extend those either way. Uh, we can delete that if we want. We can add additional, you know, uh, add more text. I'm going to click on the add text and effects again. Um, so you can add stickers onto clips. Um, and you know, those are pretty standard, you know, just like little emoji ones that you can adjust, you can make them bigger and it, you can rotate them just by kind of navigating your finger around doing that. So, um, you know, someone like me, who's a lunatic about my border collie, I'd put a little lovey face right there, um, over my border collie shot. Uh, if I could get that, to take it, there we go. Um, we want it just over that shot. So as we're playing through, look, I'm so in love with my dog. <laughs> it's great. Um, it's really disgusting. Uh, but going back to the text and effects ones, uh, there's mosaic. You don't want to try that. Um, again, that mixer one. The effects, these are just uh, things that will happen in the middle of a the clip. These are kind of like transitions, uh, but they are a little, um, they are a little wonkier. Um, 
So I'm going to delete that one. So anything that you do in this program, you can delete it. Nothing is permanent uh, until we export our videos. So, um, you know, filters, these are going to be the same things. Uh, we did those ones already. Clip and edit. Um, one of the other things that is really powerful, I think, uh, that I want to talk to you guys or talk to you guys about in this, um, if you want to mute something, as you are going through a clip, you'll notice that this clip says 100 under volume. And then as we get to this other one, it's going to say 100. I muted this other clip for a second, so it should say zero right there. And this one's going to say, um, well, there's no there's no audio audio on that one because it's a photo. So as you're scrolling through and you get over this one, you go, uh, you know what? I only want a little bit of that volume. You can click on that. You can make it really loud if you would like. It's going to default to 100. So anything below 100 is going to be quieter. Anything above 100 is going to be louder than what it was when we came in. So we could drop that down uh, all the way. We could go to this first clip and notice that the volume is 100. We don't want the whole, um, the whole thing there. Uh, and then one of the other things that we can do is we can add in music to our sequences. So this whole thing is our sequence. This whole thing is our timeline. Um, we can add in music. This is going to be one that you're going to want to be connected to the internet for as well. Um, but there's tons and tons of music here. So uh, you might be able to hear some of this. I'm not sure. Yeah, we can yep. hear it. Okay. So you can click on it and, and see if you want to use it. Um, you know, you can scroll through there. It's, I mean, like, again, and literally. Are, are these all like copy are we should we check copyright on no these these, these are all totally from? this is okay. a great question these are all totally copyright available um and then there's a little bitty download button to the far right of each of these so if i want to our big adventure i want to download that you can say use it it's going to start it where you had it in um, in our timeline um and let's see here can we get it to be at the beginning um, I should note that wherever you've got your timeline indicator is where that music is going to start at. So we want to do that again. It's already been downloaded, though. So, so I'm going to go back to that song I like. I'm going to click it. I'm going to use it. And now when we play through this, it's going to have that music in there. Uh, so this has got kind of like one of those facing the sunshine band walking yeah, on sunshine. Yeah, say a little 80s. Yeah, <laughs> um, but there's tons Don't and tons it. of tons and tons of music in there. Um, you can also, there's also a really, really big library of sound effects. So if uh, you are 13, there's a fart noise even. Um, there's a bloopers. Um, these are just gonna give you beeps. Uh, you know, fun <laughs> air horns. Sure. You like, you know, you make a lot of dad jokes. And then one of the other things that I really like here too is this record. So if you wanted to like, let's say, leave someone a video message with some photos of them or something, you can hit record. I'm going to start recording. And I'm going to talk into uh, this microphone a little bit louder. I'm going to go ahead and just click stop. And then as we scroll through this, and I'm going to talk into uh, this microphone a little bit louder. You're going to hear that playback. So you can go through, and again, you can click on this and delete those if you didn't get it right, just like a voicemail. So if you leave a really embarrassing voicemail, you can delete them uh, before you save it. The same with uh, these ones. So it's another really, really fun, um, really powerful tool that you have access to in Viva Video. So one of the last things that I want to get into uh, before we really hop into some of these questions is once we've got this all set, and it's all done. It's exactly how we want it. You've watched through it. You've made sure that your transitions are good. We want to click Save. And what this is going to do is it's going to pop open a bunch of options. Now, some of these free options I wish we had. However, um, it's going to export it in a, a fairly normal standard definition uh, mode for us, which will be totally fine if we're watching it on like a, another cell phone or something like that. Uh, if you are really like me and you're kind of a geek and you want a higher resolution, um, again, it might be worth purchasing. But we're just going to click normal right now. It's going to convert. You're going to get a percentage as it converts. Uh, and then you can see this is one is saved to album and that draft is saved as well. So if we go back into the program, which I will in a minute, I'll show you where that's at. 
What this is also going to do is it's going to open up all of the apps that you have access to on your phone, and it's going to let you text it to someone or upload it directly to YouTube, even if you want. Um, so there's a lot of options there in getting it uh, to someone else. But I'm going to go back home real quick. And if you remember, we have that me section. So um, right now, um, I've got that 13 second video that we just edited. Um, and it's here. If I click and open it, it's going to open that timeline again. So you don't have to worry about finishing a project as you're editing. You can do it, open it back up the next day or over the weekend and go back to editing right where you left off. You're gonna have all the same things. The only thing that you're not gonna have access to is any of the effects that you've done are turned off. It's not going to recognize those. So you can see that the undo and redo are grayed out again. Um, so if you've added some effects, you might have to go back in and re-import a photo. Um, and, and redo it if you if you have something that you like, let's say you don't like the effect you put on something. Uh, but other than that, this whole sequence is all right there. One of the other things that's really nice that, um, you know, the, the younger generations like when you click save, um, it's gonna let you save it as a GIF or a GIF for those of you who are wrong. And um, it's gonna say, hey, we're gonna export for, um, it's gonna just, all it wants to do is export a five second version of it. So it's not gonna be able to export the full 11 seconds that we had. Um, so you see, it's just a drone shot at that second. You're gonna see a little bit of clip of that other one. Um, but same thing, you can message someone, you can upload it to TikTok directly, you can go to YouTube, mm -hmm. um, WeChat, upload it directly to Twitter. Uh, if I click on, oh, uh, that should not have occurred. Um, let's see if we can upload it to, uh, oh, maybe I don't have my YouTube signed in right now. Um, but as you do those things, you should be able to um, export those, um, upload those to whatever you want to, um, send them to uh, your best friends, your kids, your, your family. Um, and we're out of the app entirely. And if we go back in, um, uh, there we go. Uh, we're going back to me. Um, if we go back to videos, that video is still there. It hasn't gone anywhere. Um, so we have access to it again, uh, and we can edit it. Um, if we would like to. Um, so we can add more music into it, more effects. Uh, but those are um, a lot of the real um, basic functions of Viva Video. And um, a lot of these functions translate into what I do on a daily basis um, in more professional programs, let's say like Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, but this is a real fun way to be able to edit videos really quickly if you're you know, commuting or riding the, riding the bus or whatever. Uh, do people still ride the bus in, in 2020? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I know people do. I decided to ride the bus in about six months because of everything going on. Um, but you're able to do that. Um, my recommendation on these is to play around as much as you can with them um, and just kind of like learn what each of the, the functions do. I'm going to take my um, I'm going to go back to my, my beautiful face. Mm -hmm. um, but I would recommend you play around with those and see what works. Um, as we noticed, if you edit a photo or a video in this app, that photo and video are not going to be edited elsewhere on your phone. So if you delete a photo in the app, it's not deleted from your phone. It's there. You can import it back into that app and use it again. Um, try stuff out. You're not going to harm anything um, by doing it that way. Um, and with that, uh, I'm at 727, um, and I'm hoping that I've got a couple of minutes for questions. If anyone has them, and I'm happy to hop back into my screen over here too, if we have any questions that um, we need the screen for or we need the sure. app for. So our first question is, is there a way to access the app from a regular computer, like from a desktop or anything like that? Um, I do not believe there is at this point in time. Um, you could access it from um, an iPad, um, mm -hmm. but I believe that um, a tablet is the only um, it's the largest device you're able to use it for, unfortunately. Excellent. Thank you. I yeah, that's a, that's a great question, by the way. I had a quick question about um, the cover. Oh, uh, yes. So I just started playing around with, with tapping, you know, me. I like to tap buttons, yes. too. Yes. Um, and it looks like they've selected something as the cover for you. Yes. Um, and then it seems like you can go into your album and then pick something else. Yes. Um, um, 
Is this flipped again or is this okay for everyone? Um, I think that's, yeah, it looks good. Looks good on okay, my so screen. You can, if you can read the words. Yes. So um, the cover is going to be kind of a thumbnail that you see um, before the video plays. So if you click on that, um, yeah, you can go into, um, you know, let's say you really like this shot of Adam's dog eating ice cream. Um, great. You can also, um, as Susan mentioned, you can go into your album and pick anything else you want here. So if you want to say, um, you know, maybe use a selfie or something, you click done. Um, what that's going to do is that photo is not going to appear in your video at all. We're going to watch through this video here really quickly and see that video is not going to appear anywhere. What that video is going to do is it's going to be the one that appears as the thumbnail or the one that, so if I'm browsing for something online and I see a video, it's going to show up as that rather than um, any of the shots from in here. Viva Video will try to do a really good job and pick one for you. Um, I will say that um, you should try and, uh, you know, pick something for a cover uh, mm -hmm. that is uh, reflective of what your video actually is. Um, you know, you don't want a shot of a dog eating ice cream if there are literally no shots of a dog eating ice cream mm -hmm. in your video. Um, great question. Thank you. Um, yeah, anyone else, um, any questions about the app or, um, you know, maybe editing video in general uh, that pertain to this, anything else like that? And again, if you'd like, um, we can open it up to verbal questions as well. So yeah, if, yeah, if totally you want to raise your hand, I can, I can see that in the, um, and unmute you so that you can ask your question out loud too. Or if you prefer, you can, you can still put it in the chat. And again, we will have we will have the video up. Um, we're hopefully going to put it up on our YouTube channel, um, and I can send the link to everyone um, once we've got it ready. Um, I won't have a whole lot of um, editing uh, <laughs> using Viva Video for the uh, recording, but <laughs> uh, probably not. <laughs> okay, other questions? Anything else? No. Okay. Doesn't look like we have any other questions so far. Oh, it's okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm um, an open book, so if anyone does have any questions, um, feel free to um, connect with me however you'd like to yeah. um, and ask questions. I'm, I'm always happy to help answer <laughs> questions if you have them. Yeah. Um, is there, would you recommend for people when they're trying out the app for the first time, um, you know, I, I know you have, uh, you've taken video of your, your pet. So maybe you taking some video of pets or, you know, yeah. whatever, whatever is kind of int of interest to you. Yeah. Um, that's a, that's a great question. So one of the things that, um, I really recommend if you're starting out and trying to, um, you know, get your feet wet in video editing is it's it, watching me edit together a, a farm aerial shot from a project I did, my dog eating ice cream, my dog hiking and a shot of a berry bush that I took. Um, none of those make sense together, really. I mean, other than maybe the two dog ones. So uh, my recommendation would be go find something. I mean, walk outside right now um, and take like two or three photos and two or three videos that are kind of themed. Um, so right now, I mean, fall is a really good theme, mm -hmm. but you can find some beautiful foliage. You can find squirrels running around. There's tons of birds in the area right now. Uh, but take four or five or six shots. Um, with your cell phone, um, you can even record them directly in Viva Video, as, as we noticed. Um, but take them on your cell phone, whatever you're comfortable doing. Um, and then as you're editing these together, um, it, it's gonna make more sense to you visually uh, when there's kind of a cohesive theme to your video. Um, but yeah, so like if you just don't have a bunch of, or if you've got a bunch of, you know, unrelated footage on your cell phone, go out and just take a couple of clips of something and. Um, and see how that see how things work together. Great, perfect. Um, I was going to mention just real quickly that uh, again we do have um, tech help that we can provide here at the library too. Um, so if you want, uh, we can do book a librarian appointments, which is one on one, um, either th through Zoom or in person for about fifteen minutes. Um, and if you're interested in any of other the other tech workshops, you can go to champagne.org um, slash tech hyphen workshops to find uh, what other events are upcoming. And hopefully we'll be able to have Adam come back and do some more for us in the spring um, as well. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Any, any other questions? Oh, looks like we're good. All right. Well, um, I'm also here. I'll go ahead and put that link in the chat too. So. Oops, as long as I spell it correctly. 
um, tech workshops like that. Okay, perfect. And then um, if anybody needs to reach out to me, I'm going to put my my email address is also in the chat there. Um, if you want the link to the video, or um, would you be willing to share the the P, a PDF version of your um, your terms and the uh, um, the sort that. of the editing process? Okay, I will send it to you momentarily. Perfect. That would be awesome. Thank you. All right. Well, if there are no other questions, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, say good night. And I want to thank Adam for coming and um, exploring Viva Video with us and for all of you for joining us to explore uh, this app. I'm definitely going to download it onto my own my own phone and, and play with it. I've got some ideas of sending my mom some um, video of my cats because she's yeah. She doesn't get to see her grandkitties very often oh, anymore. Fine. So, <laughs> so I'll start with some pet videos too. Don't yeah. mind. I don't think I'll give mine ice cream, but <laughs> no, it was uh, it was like a doggy Sunday. You know? Yeah, and, <laughs> it's very and do cute. And, and dog runs, so. <laughs> Very uh, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you everyone for coming. I'm gonna go ahead and say bye. Thank and you guys. I we'll appreciate end, it. We'll end our webinar. Thank you.